Hey everyone, Michelle Hagstrom here with Keller Williams Realty. I'm here with Kim Stone and we're gonna talk about credit today. Uh, can you tell me a little about, about yourself, Kim? Sure. Uh, I've been doing mortgages now for about 20 years. I have experience in the banking, credit union and lending industries. And as a loan officer, one of the things we do on a regular basis is pull people's credit and evaluate it. Okay, so my first question is, if I have poor credit, how do I go about fixing it? So if you have poor credit, you can actually learn to manage what you already have on your credit report to help improve it. Generally speaking, the rule of thumb is to focus on revolving credit, things like credit cards, revolving lines of credit or unsecure credit, um, and really focusing on those um, by managing low balances and paying things on time. That's some of the things that you can do if you have existing credit, but it might be on the lower side. Okay. And what if I don't have any credit at all? How do I go about establishing credit? That's a great question. Um, when you're younger, college age, or just freshly out of college, it's actually easier to get or establish credit because it's expected that you may not have much at that time. So generally getting a small amount of revolving credit and learning how to manage that um, will help establish your credit scores and start you out with a higher credit score. Um, as you get older, it can sometimes be a little bit more challenging because that, that time frame for expecting to establish new credit can be harder. Uh, so sometimes you may have to go in and get new credit through some type of a secured credit card or a prepaid credit card. Um, on both accounts, you wanna learn how to manage that credit. Talk to somebody who's an expert in credit advice or building credit. Uh, there is a general rule of thumb, which is to utilize no more than 30% of any revolving credit, both an individual line of credit, as well as your overall available credit um, to you through all your credit cards or lines of credit. Okay, and why do I need credit to begin with? Why is it important? That's a great question. I know a lot of people really like to be able to handle things by paying cash or having the funds available. But in the world today, more and more people find that down the road, they're going to need to have some type of a credit to get what they want, um, whether it's a purchase of a home or a car or even student loans, uh, you have to have established credit. So whether or not you want to use credit is one thing, but being able to have a really strong established credit is really important in the world today because so many places are evaluating credit to make decisions uh, on what you might need to get um, from, you know, like I said, car loans or a home and even insurance nowadays is sometimes pulling credit. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Kim, for giving us a little bit insight into credit. Thank you so much for having me. All right. With all your credit work. Take care. Have a good one.